Right here, first at five, new documents are revealing what was found inside a New Albany, Indiana funeral home currently under investigation by the Indiana Attorney General's Office. The state of Indiana opened that investigation into Spring Valley Funeral Home after a customer made a complaint and an inspection found unsafe conditions. The funeral home's license has been suspended. Hello, everybody. I'm Doug Profit. And I'm Shay McAllister. That funeral home sits right at 13th and Spring Street. Jose Alonso and photojournalist Jessica Farley tell us what the owner and former owner are saying about this new discovery. Spring Valley Funeral Home and Cremation in New Albany is under public scrutiny for allegations of overcharging customers and inadequate services. A consumer complaint filed in July started the investigation of the Spring Valley Funeral Home by the Indiana Attorney General's Office. And an inspection report in June reveals the shocking details of what was inside. The details trace back to the embalming room. It's where Indiana Professional Licensee Agency compliance officers started their inspection after noticing a strong smell. Officials found blood and other fluids on surfaces, cremated remains of 15 people who died before 2024, and six large containers of medical waste. The current owner, Trevor Lytle, claims previous owner, Anthony Oxendine, left those containers. Uh, so they did show up the night before the inspection. Um, like, like uh, they said, Anthony has been in the building. It's a leased building. Um, so we, I got into the, the purchase and took over. Lytle attended the last funeral and cemetery board meeting on August 1st. He said the medical waste was left the night before the inspection and that Oxendine was still living in the top floor. The department went on to question Lytle about the 15 cremated remains. Anthony brought those back from Louisville, saying that they were New Albany cases. So I intend to get those all back to their families instead of count on him to do it. We reached out to Oxendine, but he declined to give a written statement. We asked him about the investigation and living situation, to which Oxendine says he no longer lives upstairs and knows nothing about the investigation. The AG's office has deemed the business as a threat to public safety and health. They ordered the State Board of Funeral and Cemetery Services to suspend their operating license for 90 days. In New Albany, Jose Alonso, WHAS 11 on your side. The Attorney General's office says they have filed an administrative complaint against this business. They also want customers to know if you currently have family members in the building, it's time to reach out to a different funeral home and arrange a transfer. The office says they cannot help or give any legal guidance on that transfer process.